Welcome to the Brentford Project and our truly remarkable visitor centre. It's really something very special and emblematic of the unique community that we're creating here in Brentford. Brentford is a very unique and special opportunity because rarely does a regeneration project of this magnitude come about in West London. And Brentford historically has been an industrial zone, but interestingly, it's wrapped by this sort of donut of quality suburban West London. You know, here we are with Kew and Kew Gardens, as you see right here. Moving over to Scion Park. I'm now standing out in Richmond. Now I'm in Ealing, north of the Thames, and further afield, back over here, we're back into Chiswick. So you can see this high quality suburban area and this sort of industrial zone now being regenerated uh, is coming forward as a sort of a cultural center for all of this quality uh, wrapping around. And that sort of industrial heritage is coming forward not only in the architecture, but also in the retail and the streetscape, which is going to fill all the alleyways and public plazas and so forth in the scheme. The project, as you can see, is actually on the river and you can see its adjacency to Scion Park NQ and also the River Thames. It's got fantastic public transport links um, connecting you to Heathrow Airport and also into central London. It's a very special and unique opportunity uh, for people wanting to live uh, in a very special part of London. Of course, it goes without saying that you get fantastic architecture and beautiful interiors. That's what, that's what we at Ballymore do. But also, much more importantly, we're thinking about all the other constituent parts that make a great living experience. Right now, we're standing in Rye by the Water, which is a fabulous bakery, um, which will be part of the project. And as you can see, it exists today. This is the sort of stuff that makes great experiences. And this is what sets Ballymore apart in the marketplace. So here we have the first half of Brentford's regeneration. And what anchors this scheme, clearly we can see the river, all of it facing onto the river, but very importantly is Workhouse Dock. And this is where we're gonna have floating amenities, a restaurant, cafes floating in barges here. But also very importantly, it provides direct access onto the water for those people who want to kayak and paddle board. And then wrapping around the dock is the restaurants and uh, bars and a public square, all of which provide the sort of leisure amenity for the project. This is anchored by the three buildings which go here, Oak, Willow and Brunel. These are the buildings that have come forward in the first half of the, uh, the project. And what's really important about this is that this piece of redevelopment is in a sense the centerpiece of the regeneration of Brentford Town Centre. So of course, all of this is facing onto the High Street here with a brand new shopping parade coming forward. And then what links this High Street to the water is the reintroduction of the historic laneways that used to be here, which, you know, we've looked at historic maps and we're naming them after those historic places coming forward. The final piece, the sort of jewel in the crown of this, is St. Lawrence Gardens and a grade two listed church, which is being refurbished as a public venue for use for pop-up events, music, food, and, and so forth. But for residents, quite especially, is we're taking St. Lawrence Gardens, the old churchyard, and actually building a beautiful cloister, encasing the beautiful garden space. And in the center of that is the 25 meter lap pool, swimming pool. And also right here is the new fitness and well-being center. And then the final piece of that is a small apartment block coming forward shortly.